Hey, this is John Carlos, and it took me a while to hunt this sucker down, but I finally walked into Walgreens and found the Boba Fett prototype armor action figure. Here's a closer look at the uh, spiel on the back. And you can actually see a picture from that like video session with Ben Burt of uh, the Boba Fett prototype armor. Um, notice that the rocket pack has the uh, little hooks out. Now we'll take a look at the figure itself. Now let's get one thing perfectly clear. Even though it says this is the prototype armor, this is not the prototype armor. If you're going based off Joe Johnson's concept artwork, this looks nothing like the prototype armor. And if you're going off the initial test costume they did with Ben Burt, this is similar to, but not, the full prototype armor. There are a few differences. One, his uh, left gauntlet had a massive flamethrower piece on the side. Like It was black and it was big and very noticeable. That's absent here. Two, that one did not have this cape. They didn't have a cape yet, so they had to use a Star Wars like beach towel slung over his shoulder. Three, he did not have the Wookiee braids yet. Um, four, he had a holster, like a black holster that slung across his crotch area and hung to the side, not like this one. Uh, also, his rocket pack, predominantly in the video, has these silver pieces opened up into a grapple hook position. Only towards the end do they actually close it, so it'd be nice if this had grapple, because that's kind of how it was the whole time. Also, he comes with these two guns, neither of which were his prototype guns for that fitting. He had a completely different major rifle, and his blaster was a completely different blaster. It was like it had silver and it stuck out longer in the back. Um, this was like a much shorter, completely different kind of blaster. Um, what this is, is the previous Boba Fett action figure painted white. You can tell because it's the same figure. Also, they included the Wookiee braid. He didn't even have that. So uh, this is a cool looking figure, don't get me wrong, but it's not accurate to the prototype at all. It's just a white version of the previous figure. Now, let's get to the actual details of it. Um, the uh, blaster does look cool. It's the same one the previous one had. Uh, and it looks just as good as the previous one. Same thing with his little pistol here. Looks cool. Not accurate to the prototype, but still very cool. And this rocket pack. I do like the way they painted the silver edges here. This is actually accurate to how it looks for the prototype. I do like the silver paint against the white on this. I do like it quite a bit. Now let's take a closer look at the figure. Who, despite all my bitching, does look really damn cool. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Boba Fett, so I think seeing him in all white and just holding a little plastic figure in my hand is pretty cool. The use of silver there, the little dots, the uh, the viewing screen, this all looks really, really good. Even that little section in the back. Articulation is good on his head as well. And I do like seeing all of his armor in white like this. My only nitpick, I only saw one in stores and I grabbed it, but this little black paint here, it's not fully painted and it's kind of dirty on his chest on the left side. But I'll take what I can get. And the fact that I got this for retail price, not some overcharged, you know, collectible price is pretty good. Um, the rest of the figure, though, as far as like a white repaint with like tan areas, looks really good. Especially the little uh, darts on his knees. The silver paint's really good. Uh, all the pockets look good. The articulation, the mid-thigh cut, the double knee joint, the hinged foot with the uh, swiveling ankle. Awesome work. Kind of wish the Wookiee braids weren't there, but oh well. Um, articulation with the uh, the bicep cut here that this side doesn't have. They both have the elbow joint, but this one's got a little swiveling bicep cut, so that's cool too. I like the way this piece connects here. And the black paint on the bottom's cool. This little dart launcher, flamethrower, it all looks really, really cool, especially the gloves. The gloves do look really accurate to the separation between the white like from that fitting, when you look at the footage, you could tell that there are like lighter tones and darker tones and the, the gloves do reflect that. So I think that's great. Armor looks great. I'm really happy with the armor. Articulation on the figure's fine. I've kind of played with it. His mid-torso cut, I especially like. Um, the pouches though do prevent you from getting his legs to move that far forward. So that's a bit of a problem if you want to like have him lean forward a bit. Also, the cape does hang really good. I like the way the cape looks. Let's go ahead and put on that rocket pack. That does look cool. And we'll go ahead and slide his blaster into the pocket. Even though that's not how it hangs in the prototype version. 
While this may not be accurate to the prototype, in fact, I kind of wish the tips of his shoes were painted silver, I do think it is a really cool looking action figure and a really unique collectible. As a Boba Fett fan, I'm still really happy that this figure exists. Never mind my bitching, it's a really cool toy and I think he looks rad. I'm very happy with this. Thanks for watching.